Hey, welcome to Ray at the Movies, and welcome to my 31 Days of Halloween. You heard that right. I'm actually going to do something crazy, and I'm going to video, upload videos every day for the whole month of October. I know other people have probably done it, but I want to just go ahead and try it and see if I can do it. Now, I did a poll that's up as of right now. This video is being filmed on April 12th, 2024, uh, which picked... Uh, the movie that I'm actually going to review here, uh, and The Slayer, as well as Scared Stiff, and Madhouse. These are movies that nobody have heard of before. Now, I think there is another horror movie called Madhouse, so don't be confused with that one. This one is totally different, and I wanted to pick movies that are rare and not much people have heard of. I don't know very many people have heard of Ghost Town. Uh, but I'm going to cover it anyways, uh, trying to straighten this out a little bit, sorry, oop, there we go. Alright, so, the poll, whoever wins is the movie I'm going to take priority of putting up. I'm still going to, uh, review them and watch them, but, um, what ones get posted first uh, is depends on which ones get the highest vote. So far, these are tied. So I thought, well, I might as well go ahead and pick them. So, all right. So let's go into Ghost Town. Ghost Town was released on November 11th, 1998. It stars the cast, Frank Lewis, who is in The Nest, When Harry Met Sally, Good Cops, Bad Cops, Don Quan McGraw. That is a... Johnny Depp movie. If I'm not mistaken, that one, so I can't pronounce it, sorry. Uh, Catherine Hickland, Robo War, Witchery, Millions, Sweet Justice, Jamie F. Shags, The Naked Face, Lethal Weapon, Puppet Master, Oblivion, Penevoli, Wind Dust, Tarantulas, the, Last, the Deadly Cargo, Death Ray, 2000, Bird, The Nightman, Bruce Golliver, Diamonds Are Forever, and all. The Walk and Tall Trilogy, Popcorn, Warlock to Armageddon. Now, there was a remake made, and they did two other movies, I believe. One was with The Rock, and one was with Kevin Serbo. The other ones were with Kevin Serbo. Uh, okay, back to here. Laura Scuffer, Catacombs, True Identity, Michael Aligis, The Incredible Mountain Man, The Entity, Iron Eagle, Robo Jocks, directed by... Richard McCarthy, who only directed this movie and didn't finish it. They had to hire somebody. I know that'll go more into the trivia. Mac Heilberg, writers Duke Sanford, who did The Phantom of the Opera with Robert England, that one. No Earthly Reason. And not, well, not. Can't. Then there's, of course, the other uh, writer of this, David Schumerlor, Taurus Trap. Neither World, Catacombs, Puppet Master. So here's the synopsis. Ghost Town is a 1988 American Western horror film directed by Richard McCarthy under the uh, Richard Governor and starring Frank Luce and Catherine Hicklin based on a story by David Shomor. It follows a sheriff who finds himself amongst the dead residents of a ghost town while searching for a missing woman. The film was one of the last to be released by producer Charles Band production company Empire Pictures. The script was written by Duke Sanford based on a story by David Schumer. The film was executive produced by horror producer Charles Band. The ghost town was shot Ghost Town was shot on location late September and October 1987 at Old Tuscan Studios in Tuscan, Arizona. In a retrospective interview, actor Frank Lewis recounted the his time on the set of the film, stating that he had done his own stunts. On director Richard Governor McCarthy, Lewis said, Richard Governor seemed like a crazy, high-energy, high-sexed, charismatic guy with a strong Australian accent. At the time, I was not sure that he had complete control of his set, but I've since learned that no one ever has complete control of any set. 
The final released version of the film was actually a work print version of the film and not a complete version of the film. Original director David Schumer was asked, was sacked during production, only replaced by rookie director Richard McCarthy. Everyone was rushed through production as Empire Pictures was on the verge of collapsing and they were desperate to get the film released. Consistently, an unfinished work print played in a handful of theaters and was quickly afterwards released on VHS. The film cinema release saw it being shown in only eight theaters. Constant changes to the, constant changes to the script caused Richard McCarthy to walk off the set two weeks before principal photography was completed, which forced cinematographer Mac Alberg to take over as director. Composer Harvey R. Cohen score was rejected, something he didn't find out until an early screening when the film opened wider only three of his cues were kept and the rest of the film was tracked with pre-existing music first and only directional directorial effort from richard mccarthy frank luz performed his own stunts actual pena county arizona sheriff department automobiles were used in the movie along with the authentic arizona sheriff sheriff's logo on the side of the doors. Jeff Burr was also was was also offered to direct this film after David Schumer backed out of the director chair. Lois Schumer's debut. Puppet Master, okay. Deputy Langley tracks a kidnapped girl to an abandoned ghost town. However, the town is not abandoned but haunted by the spirits of an outlaw Devlin and his gang who hold the equally deceased townspeople hostage until the outlaws can be killed by a lawman. This was a fun movie. This is a horror uh, western and it's a very good movie. It's very well done. Uh, for the budget they had, it looks great. The special effects are fantastic, especially for the villains of the movie. And the set design was great. It really does look like a ghost town. It, uh, it would make me feel like I was in one. I really like it. I give this movie three out of five stars. This is one of my favorite movies. And how I came across this movie was on the... When USA used to have USA Up All Night. I watched it then. Now, this has no special features. And I don't know if this was... A restoration was done or not on this. But this is one of my favorite films. I really like this. And this is the movie that I revisited. Now, just to let you know... The movie was released on Blu-ray July 28, 2015. Now just to let you know, this is now since out of print and will cost you from if you buy it from try it from Amazon from $91 to $124. Now uh, 88 films did release uh, Ghost Town and that's out of print too. But it's you all use and only goes up to I think from $75 to $95 maybe. This is a fun movie that I highly recommend. And uh, depending on how the vote comes, depends on if this is going to be the first one on my 31 days of Halloween. I'm videoing this kind of early because uh, I'm on vacation and this is the perfect opportunity for me to do this since this is such an um, ambitious uh, thing to do. Upload videos every day. So I haven't decided if I'm just going to private the video and hide it until it gets close to the date or just wait to edit it. All right, with that, I'm out of here. Have a good rest of the day. Peace.